Hi guys and girls, welcome back to uh, another video on my channel. If you're watching this video, you've probably got a Ford that uh, won't start. So you, it's got the um, starter motor problem. So you put your foot down on the clutch, either turn the key or push the start button and you just get the click, the dunk, 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 and it won't start. But yet if you keep hitting the button repeatedly, um, you can get the car to start or you'll find it does it intermittently or it does it when it's wet uh, or moist in the air so i filmed what you're about to see um over a week ago now just because i wanted to make sure that it actually worked here we go if you have a ford with a stop start that does this click click and then finally starts i'm going to show you how to fix it It's working now. What we're going to do is we're going to get under the car and I'll show you what you need to do to fix this simple problem. Okay, so with the car jacked up in the air and the under tray removed from the underneath of the car so you can get to the back of the engine and the starter motor. These connections up here, this one here and here, these are get bad connections. So what you need to do you just need to loosen them up and then clean them up and then tighten them back up again and uh, I'm gonna have a go at doing that now and see how this if it makes any difference so I've just undone this one here which you can see the metal braid but that goes into the starter motor You've got the pre engagement wire here to put a charge in to get it to switch over and then on the top, you have a 10 mil. So I've tightened the 10 mil at the top, loosened it off and tightened it up again. Done the 13 mil there with the big one, loosened it up, tightened it up. Put some. Uh... I'll be in in a minute. Shut the door. Put some WD 40 on there just to stop any moisture from getting onto the contacts. And then we shall see if it starts. For the moment of truth, I've just uh, come out from underneath the car. Ignition on. And look at that, it starts up straight away. It starts up better than it did before. So I did all of this with a Halfords 13 pounds socket set. You need to undo the T25s I think they were from onto the engine pan to take the panel off and then it was a 10 mil and a 13 mil on the back of the starter. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did please give me a thumbs up and uh, thanks for watching. See you all time.